Hello everyone, yung Mama Betcha here and welcome back to my channel. Kung bago lang kayo sa akin channel, please do not forget to click subscribe, like, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga videos. At kung bago lang kayo sa akin channel but you're interested to sell sa Lazada, you have come to the right channel. I created a tutorial on how to sell with Lazada. So, pakibisita na lamang kung aking mga videos if you want to learn. This is our third week. Tama po ba? This is our third week of enhanced community quarantine and we all know na highly affected din po tayo mga ka-sellers dahil sa as long as may quarantine, wala din tayong benta dahil nga po suspended ang logistics ng Lazada. Although today may update po sila that they can commence with the delivery. However, it is only applicable dun sa mga essential items like yung mga baby... Um, essentials, milk, diapers, medical supplies, so yung mga ganong items po. But in the meantime, we all hope and pray na matapos na ang pandemic na to and let's continue staying home until we flatten the curve of this virus pandemic. Let me ask you mga ka-sellers, in this pandemic period, Ano na po yung mga productive things that you did sa inyong mga bahay? Let me know by putting your comments down below. Ayan. So, pakitype po right below ng ating video na to. Let me know kung ano yung mga nagawa nyo na in our 3-week period of quarantine. As for me, ma-share ko lamang po. Nagtanim-tanim po ako. Let me show you this. Itong picture na to. So, this is what I just planted a black Simpson lettuce dahil mahilig po kami sa salad. Di nga lang halata, pero yeah. Um, we love salad. So, I decided na during this time na magtanim, actually, ginawan ko lang to ng paraan kasi originally po, nag-order ako ng plastic hanging pots at lupa. Pero, unfortunately, naabutan tayo ng quarantine, so di siya na-deliver. So, ayan, ginawa ko na ng paraan. I have used things that I have para maitanim yan. So, this week, sana, kung may time, makapagtanim ako ng kamatis and bell pepper naman. Ayan. So, how about you, mga ka-sellers? I'm excited to know din ko ano yung mga nagawa nyo in this pandemic period. Anyway, in today's video, dahil nabanggit naman na natin ang pag-continue in staying home, we are going to talk about the things that we can do as sellers while we are on quarantine. So, pag-uusapan din natin ang traffic and I will give you tips on how to increase traffic sa shop nyo. Ayan. So, in preparation po yan ng ating pagbabalik pag wala na po yung COVID-19 na pandemic na yan. So, if you want to know kung paano, please keep on watching. In this quarantine period, for sure, marami po tayong time na mapaglalaanan sa shops natin. So, let us make ourselves productive in preparation ng pagbabalik natin online very soon kapag natapos na ang pandemic na to. So, here are the things we can do in our online shop while we are still dealing with COVID-19 crisis. Number one, check your inventory. Okay, so good inventory management is essential to the success of your online business. Make sure that your products are organized, assign the SKUs ready for upload, and track your stocks counts. Ibig sabihin yung bilang po ng mga stocks nyo per SKU. By checking the inventory, alam din natin kung anong products yung nagpo-produce ng highest demand, anong products ang less popular, anong products yung mga moving products natin, o yung mga less moving products. Para pagdating ng araw po na we are back in business, alam na natin which of these products ang kailangan dagdagan, o kailangan bawasan. Okay? Um, isa din by checking your inventory, pwede nyo rin makikita dyan kung kailangan nyo na ba i-sale yung items or not. Di po ba? As to 
If you're going to ask me if I'm using an inventory management tool, wala po akong ginagamit as of the moment. Manual po yung aking pag-inventory following my Excel form. Because as check po sa Lazada Seller Center, yung pag-export po ng product file is not working. Okay? So, number two, what we can do, this is related po sa ating number one upon checking your inventory. Kasi binanggit ko po doon um, na yung mga products, yung mga highest demand, yung product na less popular, moving products. In connection with that, number two is to utilize the business advisor. A business advisor po is a tool that we can use to check and understand our business performance. Okay, so let's pay attention to the screen. I will show you how the business advisor looks like sa ating Lazada Seller Center. Here, as you can see, we are now logged into our Lazada Seller Center and we are at our business advisor page. So, makikita nyo pa yung business advisor right below ng growth center. So, i-click lamang po natin yung business advisor. Ayan. And we are not going to discuss the details of the business advisor, but we are going to move on sa product diagnosis. So, click nyo lamang po yung product diagnosis. Ayan, so product and then diagnosis. So, i-click natin tong diagnosis. And in here, makikita nyo po, usually, meron po ditong mga items, like yung mga SKU, mga products nyo, nakalista dyan isa-isa. But since kulang tayo ng data, sabi dito, good job, no SKU and this diagnosis. But let's pay attention dito po, um, itong anim na to. So, we have here yung uh, price uncompetitive. Okay. It says here, meron din siyang explanation, SKUs that are SKUs that are found selling at a lower price on other platform. Yan po yung definition ng price and competitive. So, you need to check that. Especially dun sa inyong competitor. Ayan. So, makikita nyo yan. Actually, mayroon yung list kung magkano yung binibenta ng competitor mo versus sa presyo na binibenta mo. Okay? And then, we also have here yung low conversion rate. Ayan. And then, we also have here not selling. So, eto yung mga SKUs, mga products na kanya-eight mo in the last 90 days at hindi bumenta in the last 7 days. But then again, we are on quarantine. As you can see, I have here 61 products na not selling. We have here short of stock. Sabi dito, SKU is estimated to be out of stock within 7 days. So, according sa Lazada data, ayan, so yun yung mga products mo na magkaka-out of stock in the next 7 days. And then, we also have here revenue dropping. Ayan, and it says here, revenue in last 7 days has dropped by more than 30% compared to revenue in previous 7 days. Ayan, so you also need to check kung anong mga products yan. And itong high revenue loss naman, ito yung mga nagkukulang mo na mga items, pero sellable. So, nandito yung mga demand mo na, in-demand mo na mga items sa shop. Okay? So, itong diagnosis na to, itong anim na to, this is where you can create your action plan on how you can make your shop a successful one para makapag-generate po kayo ng... Uh, more sales. Ayan. So, that's just a preview of what is a business advisor looks like. Okay? So, that's number two ng pwede nating gawin sa ating shop habang nasa quarantine period po tayo. Okay? So, let's move on to our point number three. Ayan. So, the third thing that we can do habang naka-quarantine po tayo is increase the number of SKUs in our shop. So, what does that mean? Let us add more sellable products po sa ating Lazada Seller Center. So, this is your chance to increase the number of your SKUs dahil po may impact po yan with regards to the traffic of your Lazada shop page. The high higher the number of products, the higher percentage increase po of traffic dahil maraming selection si customer and marami din siyang nakiklik na mga products. Okay? 
So let's move on to the next thing that we can do when naka-quarantine as a Lazada seller is utilization and adoption of Lazada tools. Ayan. So if you have been following yung Lazada University yung mga live stream ng ating mga taga seller engagement team kina Sir Israel kina Ma'am Neil then you should be familiar itong mga Lazada tools. So ano nga ba yung mga Lazada tools and bakit kailangan natin siyang i-utilize or i-adapt sa ating mga Lazada shop. So the Lazada tools that we have, of course, we have number one is yung product decoration in Lori Kit. Okay, so familiar na po tayo sa Lori Kit um, that will increase our content score. And of course, yung product decoration natin um, with utilization of this tool, it will help uh, your customers or our customers understand our products better. Ayan. So, while naka-quarantine, please, pwede nyong i-update yung product pictures, yung decoration nyo, and also yung mga pictures ng inyong lorry kit. So, a quick tip, make sure that you upload at least three pictures sa inyong mga SKU. Okay? And then, number two ng isang Lazada tool na kailangan natin gamitin is, of course, yung store builder. Ayan, kung sumabay, kung sumabaybay po kayo sa aking channel, you should also be familiar. We have tackled the store builder and we also have used that in decorating our shop. Okay, by using the store builder tool, it will showcase not just your brand but also yung products mo and of course, yung mga attractive deals or mga um, discounts that you offer. So, Store Builder can be applied in both mobile application and also sa PC. Okay? And another tool that we have is yung chat. Okay? So, yung chat, um, it will build customer relationship and the study shows that um, for any, for a for any reply na ginagawa ng mga seller, there's also a possibility na mag increase yung purchase ni customer. Also, there's a contribution of times to the number of sales kapag ginamit po natin yung chat. Okay? So, wag po natin baliwalain yung chat. Make sure that we attend to it. And kung busy naman po tayo and um, wala tayong um time to chat with the customer right there and then you can actually set an auto reply chat okay meron po tayong tutorial niyan kung paano iset yung auto reply so pakibisita niyo lamang po ang ating channel para ma-iset niyo yung auto reply na chat auto reply sa chat option ng inyong mga Lazada shop okay and then of course, we also have the tool Seller Picks. So, dito po nagkakaroon tayo ng free boost of our products sa Lazada page or Lazada website. Um, of course, ang Seller Picks, you can only be eligible depende po sa seller performance. And na-discuss ko na rin po yan sa ating channel. If you wanna know what seller picks is, then um, please drop by my channel and look for what is seller picks. So, nandun po yan. Um, pero to give you an idea, seller picks increases your product visibility. So, yan po yung pinaka-importante. Of course, mas visible yung product natin sa Lazada website. Mas mag-create po siya ng traffic. And if we have higher traffic, more likely it will increase your conversion rate and it will convert to revenue or yung sales. Ayan. So, apat na seller tool na po yung ating nabanggit. And the rest of the seller tools, ito po yung campaign, 
free shipping and collectible voucher. So if you notice dito sa bullet points, pinag-isang bullet ko lamang po yung campaign, free shipping, tsaka collectible voucher dahil equal po yan to increase of traffic which we are going to talk about later kung ano nga ba yung traffic. Ayan, so naisip nyo ba mga ka-sellers Siguro meron po sa inyo na napapaisip na I have done all the effort sa aking shop. Two months na, bakit wala pa rin akong benta? Okay? Or maybe some of you, you've seen steady growth naman sa inyong shop over the past six months. Pero you only hit a plateau dun sa sales nyo. Okay? So, there are lots of reasons why may mga factors po na nakaka-apekto kung bakit po ganun. Pero, one of the common reason po is less po yung ating traffic sa ating shop. Okay? So, we are going to talk about that. Before we proceed talking about traffic, let us check muna kung ano ba yung definition of traffic ni Google. Okay? So, according to Google, Website traffic refers to web users who visit a website. Web traffic is measured in visits, sometimes called sessions, and is a common way to measure an online business effectiveness at attracting an audience. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin traffic, in short, Eto po yung mga user, kung gumagamit man sila ng mobile or PC or laptop, na pumupunta po sa ating website which is sa Lazada. Okay, so eto po yung magandang traffic. Hindi yung traffic sa EDSA or Ortigas Extension, ha? So, kung nakasubaybay ka sa mga video since day one, nabanggit ko yan in one of my videos. And here we are right now talking about traffic. Alright. So, how do we drive traffic to our online stores? Okay? From the online marketing perspective, Driving traffic means leveraging SEO or search engine optimization, premium contents, Facebook ads, Google AdWords, referral programs, and many more. Ayan, ang dami ko nang sinasabi po na I'm sure uh, most of you na hindi po alam ko ano yung pinagsasabi ko. Pero we are not going to do that ka sellers. Right? Bakit po? Kasi, yung mga SEO na sinabi ko, Facebook ads, Google AdWords, may bayad po yung mga yan. Okay? And some are not even effective. Believe me, because I have tried Facebook ads before and conversion rate to sales is low. For experience, Facebook ads works if you are selling a niche market. Okay, pero kung may budget naman po kayo, why not? Hindi ko po kayo pipigilan na subukan yung mga um, SEO na yan. But, it is up to you na po. Okay, so, how do we increase traffic for free? Okay, and how does Lazada help us increase our shop's traffic? Okay, number one, of course, is the usage of Lazada tools. Okay, so nandito yung three na binanggit ko sa last bullet point ng ating slide like kanina, yung campaign, free shipping, and collectible, collectible vouchers. Okay, so this is where um, the Lazada process or Lazada platform came in. So, they help us increase the traffic if we join their campaigns, if we offer free shipping, and we offer collectible vouchers. Okay? Of course, on our end, mga ka-sellers, that involves cost po sa ating end. Kasi hindi naman po free pinamimigay ni Lazada yan. So, may mga, so it's a charge sa atin yan. So, as a seller, make sure to check kung may profit pa din ba rin kayo before joining these tools. Okay? But, 
100% it surely is one great way to increase your shop's traffic. Okay, so let Lazada do the optimization for conversion sa sales while we sellers utilize these tools that they offer. Okay, ayan. And then, number two, of course, to increase your traffic is create your social media, media account. Okay, so you create a Facebook page na dedicated lamang po sa inyong brand or you create an Instagram page dedicated to your shop's brand na naka-integrate kay Lazada. Okay, why? Kasi social media accounts po are free. Okay, you don't need to pay anything unless magpapa-add ka sa kanila. Um, social media... By the way, this is one way to reach out to your customers, okay? Um, this is also one way where you can let them know your attractive deals. This is also one way that you can interact with your buyers, okay? So, as a seller, you need to have a strong presence in social media, okay? You can ask your customers' opinions in the comment se section and so on. Alright? Um, a quick tip po kapag may social media account kayo is make sure that you also put in the URL o yung link nyo sa Lazada Shop page nyo para mag-direct po yan. Halimbawa, kung sa Facebook, pag-click po ni, ni uh, visitor ng Facebook page mo, ay eh, magra-route po yung traffic doon sa Lazada Shop page mo. Okay? Alright. And then, itong number three, okay, this is by far the most effective way, okay, to increase your traffic and, of course, followers. Ito, okay, ito yung thank you cards. Thank you cards. Okay, it may sound like non-traditional in doing online business, but it is effective, okay? So, let them know you care for your customers and appreciate them for their purchase. So, ang gagawin nyo po, magpiprint out magpiprint out lamang po kayo ng thank you card. Isasama nyo po for every order okay, or for every purchase ni customer. Okay, a thank you card, this is one way of um, building relationship then, Customer ret retention and loyalty to your shop's brand. Okay, dahil satisfied customers usually becomes a returning visitor sa Lazada shop nyo and might become also the promoter of your brand if they are really are satisfied. I'm about to end my video but before you go, I would like to share itong thank you card. So, I created it in a word format po. So, you can have a copy. As you can see here, I made it personalized. It says here, thank you. And then, meron siyang underline. So, what you can do is, isulat nyo lang po para mas personalize siya. Isulat nyo yung name ng customer o yung bumili dyan sa may underline. And then, eto pong may oblong right at the bottom, you can write down your brand name. Okay? So, as you can see here, ang nalaka, nakalagay po dito, um, it says thank you, and then for example, yung customer nyo is si Mama Betchay. Thank you, Mama Betchay. Customer feedback has always helped improve our business. If you are satisfied with our product, please leave a 5-star product rating. You may also leave us a message through chat and let us improve our service to you. For latest discounts and updates, please follow us by clicking the follow button in our Lazada shop page. And right down below, nakasulat po yung brand name nyo. Okay? So, sana makatulong po ito. Um, as soon as we are back in operation, use this so that there will be an increase sa inyong um, online shops traffic. So, this is one of the best practices that I do in my shop. So, may share ko lang. So, this shop that I owned, I have reached 3,988 followers in less than 2 years. Okay? Without 
any ads like Facebook page ads and so on. So, I am sharing it to you now. So, to get a copy, send me an email with subject, I stayed home so frontliners can go back home. Okay, again, kailangan po yung subject ng email is I stayed home so frontliners can go back home. So, let's see how you followed instructions. And if you really are a subscriber ng aking channel or follower ng aking channel or tagapakinig, you should know what my email address is. So, I'm not going to say it here but... Kung nakasubaybay po kayo sa ating channel, you should know kung ano yung email address ko. Okay, so once again, this is your Mama Bechay. Thank you for watching. Until our next tutorial, you stay safe, you stay home with your family, and may God bless us all. Bye!